So guys, I'm just checking out the spot here before I actually come back with my rod. Just having a look what the beach looks like. So we're at Blythdale guys. The water is looking absolutely nice today. Um, we're staying close to everybody, so one of the lodges here. Um, as you can see on that side, we've got some rock there as well. So we might try some rock fishing later, later on during the day or during the weekend. But um, I'm just looking at the spot over here guys. It looks like there's a hole there. Might be some shed. Eel guys. so far guys the nice size eel as well but fat than the ones we catch at home but um couldn't couldn't survive couldn't save the hook i will not put my finger close to that eel's mouth so we didn't go with the hook in his mouth so guys but now we gonna have to put another trace and go for it again i'm sure you're something biking here After catching that fat eel, a few hours passed and my bait went untouched. I tried alternating between the bait that I had, sardine and pink prawn, but no takers. I was determined to find the right recipe. So I dove deeper in my digital tackle box, where bites swim free, like buttons, bob like boys on the sea. Comments nibble at content, curious and wise subscribers hooked on stories under the digital skies. I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, comment and subscribe if you like the content and I'll keep it coming with every recording. So guys, welcome back. Another morning with High Tide Anglers. We're still on Blythdale Beach right now. Um, I haven't been successful today. I'm only using my 10 foot, my 11 foot rod, sorry. 11 foot assassin zero zero edition assassin rod 10 11 foot with my akuma reel i've been spinning a little bit with this lure on earlier earlier on this morning it's about 12 o'clock now so we'll see what this lure can do I 
Daniel is a wild there, look there. It says look there, there's a wild in the jump out the water now, just watch there. Watch there. See there? You can see it. You see this watch is in the jump again now, just watch again. Just watch. See there, he's in the jump now, there he jump again. You see there at the back? There at the back, there's a wave, a whale jumping right there. He's like white guy. There they again, poof in the water. You see? You see? Just watch there. There's a whale jumping there. So it's 4 o'clock guys, 4 o'clock, we are back at the beach again, after some, after some lure fishing earlier on this morning, we took a walk further up that way, the water does look deep though, it looks deeper than yesterday, so I'm going to stand over there just a little bit on top of the hill here. I can even stand here, but there's a rock right here I never saw yesterday. So I'm gonna dodge this rocky area here. And right over there, I'm going to see. See, yesterday was just about feeling it out. Today I walked up there. Honestly, there was fishermen earlier than me that side of the bay or of the, of the beach this morning. Looks like they came back in the end. So. Hopefully there's some luck for us now guys. Um, spent a couple of this is the second day we're at Blythdale now. Well this is the first full day I'm here. And uh, nothing came out yet but it looks quite it looks quite nice and fishing guys so I'm gonna try the sort in now. I'm gonna put on a treble hook, not a treble hook but uh, I'm gonna put on three hooks on the trays and just swing it in here see what we can bang out so I'm gonna set up right here guys I've seen a lot of fishermen come out on that spot there and they stand right here so I'm gonna park it right here and I'm gonna go for it guys So if you haven't already guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe in the video. Let's get some let's get into some fishing guys. Soon we're gonna have to pack it up guys. There's a thunderstorm approaching. Right over there. starting to rain a bit here now guys but it looks like a, just a dark cloud passing through still on the beach as you can see it just looks like a dark cloud passing through so I'll wait it out a bit I did feel a couple of bites on my shad trace now so I'm hoping they're still around here whatever was biting is still around here but yes guys that's what's happening right now cloud passing through a little, little, little bit of showers here but I'll keep racing so there it is guys you can see the bites are getting air and stuff here now so let me just bite up again and see what it is guys hopefully it's a shed I wouldn't mind if it's a shed 
but they're all biting nicely man guys they're biting nicely here so i'm just gonna hook it up like this nothing spectacular still just like this i'm gonna hook it up through the tail and on the side like that because i'm feeling quite confident right now guys all day has been a bit quiet so now that it's picking up a bit on you go now and he's aiming a bit here but picking it out guys just like that we'll put up the wind is a bit the wind is getting a bit strong as well but normally when the wind picks up the fish only come on the bike right let's try this again guys So guys, the 30% rain has come and I think I'm going to, I think, I think we're going to pack it up right here now because it is raining a bit too much right now guys. So yeah, we'll see later on how it goes, we'll maybe come back to the beach. But at this moment it's raining a bit too much right now. Uh, you can't even see, but yeah, too much rain guys. Um, we'll check what we can do further on or later on if the rain stops a bit. We'll come back, but for now. been fishing here two days in a row now and still there's no luck today we're gonna be using our clone lure I'll show you guys now what clone lure we got we were fortunately enough to bump into, into Kent we were able to able to saw some clone lures I wonder what would happen if we never bump into him the other day would we have got would we have got lures on him yeah I thought you were breaking out the sign language there yeah, <laughs> yeah do this So yes guys, if I didn't, if I didn't mention in earlier in the videos that we are at Palm Dune um, Lodge here in, in Blythedale and if you walk through here onto this boardwalk with this little pathway here, you can see the beach is right here, it's right here guys. Yesterday before I packed up there was fish biting, I promise you there was fish biting but unfortunately for us unfortunately nothing stuck and yeah, I was gonna try to get the lure out today and see how it goes see there's a couple of fishermen on the beach so we'll see what it looks like but first let's get some shots over there see what's happening
guys, it looks like that's it for the weekend here in Blythdale. Um, we do come around here often, so maybe next week or the following month we'll probably be down here again. Um, we'll see if we can get any fish next time, but for now I think that bank should be too thick here in the front. Um, I also assume that it is spring tide, so the waves are picking quite a bit high in the back, pushing the sand, and there's a lot of sand in the front here as well, guys. So I'm sure that's affecting the bites. Last night, though, I had a couple of strong bites in the front, but didn't materialize to anything. So unfortunately about that. But you could see there were fish biting on the full sort I put out, but. Unfortunately, no cups. I was hoping to catch last night. There was a bit of a thunderstorm last night. I wasn't going to get a chance to really stand overnight. And also, it was raining. And let's have a look what this is. It looks almost like a lure, but probably just some scrap it washing from the ocean. But yes, like I was explaining guys, it was, it was, thund sorry, it was thunderstorming last night. I normally go fishing at a rock over there. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. When I do come to Blythdale, I always go fishing near those rocks over there. Or on top of those rocks. There are a couple of guys fishing there right now, but I thought I'd just give it a break. So yeah guys. That ends the fishing trip and yeah we'll see maybe we'll go back to Durban and we'll see if we can catch anything guys but you know the deal like comment subscribe and we'll see you in another video with high tide anglers Click, click.